today I want to talk to you about choosing a uni, how I chose LAU, how did I decide on my course, what was right for me, what to look out when you're making your choices and how to know what's right for you. I know choosing a university can be really overwhelming because you can't stop thinking about how this will be a really big decision in your life. But in the end, I'm sure your gut will tell you what to do. There are just a few things to look out for. If you pay attention to those little things, you will be fine. I want to start by telling you a little bit about myself. My name is Hazal. I come from Turkey which is a really nice country, a city called Bursa. We have good weather. I used to go to university in Istanbul, but the course I was doing called Comparative Literature was not right for me. I've always wanted to be an artist anyway, so I decided to change my course. This brought up the possibility of me studying abroad, and I already came to England before, and I really liked it, so I decided to move here. And I lived in London for a year, I studied foundation in London and in my foundation year I had the chance to try a lot of different art subjects because I wasn't doing art before that. In my foundation year I was trying different things but I didn't know what was right for me yet. I had to go online and do a research on art subjects in England and I came across illustration. I was a little bit torn between illustration and graphic design but in the end I decided I wanted to be commercial but still artsy which was illustration for me. I was looking for the best possible courses in the UK for illustration. My research showed me LAU was definitely one of them. Now there were other options like UAL but these options were way too expensive for an education and art courses also require you to spend some money on materials as well so UAL was not one of my options because of these reasons. But I hear it's really Really good there. I also heard Glasgow was really good but I didn't want to go there as I was just getting used to the UK and England. Leeds Arts Uni was my first option because I researched a lot of universities like I said. Leeds Arts was the warmest option for me as it was a specialist arts university. I wasn't really keen on looking at other bigger universities with science and maths and literature subjects. I just thought I wanted to be surrounded by art and this is a really important thing that you should think about. Do you want to go to a bigger university with lots of different courses? Do you want to go to a focused university with only art subjects? I thought I would have better contacts by the end of my course and I would expand my art knowledge by being around all different kinds of artists. Yeah, Choosing between my other options that I got offers from wasn't so hard for me because LAU was my first choice anyway. There was another university I was considering as my second option which was Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire illustration students has won so many awards that it was a bit appealing but when I went to my interview in LAU I was sure that I wanted to be there because the students were so warm, the tutors and my course leader was absolutely amazing and I just felt at home immediately you know. I don't even need to talk about the facilities as we won the best facilities several times. Facilities was just a plus for me, to be honest. It was mostly tutors being so interested in who I was, course team being so friendly. It didn't feel like a tutor-student relationship, it was more like a mentor slash friend. When I got my offer, another story because I was going back to London on the train and I got stuck for over an hour, I got my offer while I was stuck and then my train journey was just fine. I knew if I got the offer from LAU I was immediately gonna accept it and that's what happened. Even when you're sure about your choice you have some concern. You think did I make the right choice? Maybe I should have gone to a different university. Maybe I should have stayed in London. London is very artsy. It could be different for everyone. While having those thoughts you should stop and ask yourself what you want from a university and what you want from a course. It might be a good idea to take a pen and a paper, write what do I want from a course, what do I want from a university. You should think about what you want, what do you want to achieve in life, what do you want to earn your money from. After 
after all, you're gonna study this course yourself and nobody else is gonna do the job for you. You're gonna be doing this for the rest of your life, hopefully. You should think about what's right for you. Is it a bigger university? Do you wanna socialize? Do you want to be in a big city? Do you want to be in a medium-sized city but have opportunities? Do you wanna be close to your hometown? Do you wanna be close to your family? These are all really important things to consider before choosing a uni. I was already away from home in Turkey. It didn't change much. It's not to say that you have to be an illustrator after you come out of illustration course because you will learn a lot of skills that will be applicable to a lot of different things. But what do you want to learn from a course? Do you want to just learn how to illustrate or do you want to learn how to solve problems creatively? That is a really important aspect to look at. For me, coming out of this course, I've learned so many skills that could even be applied to real estate or art direction. It doesn't have to be illustration. You should think about what skills you will be achieving from the course. I can't tell you exactly why I didn't choose the other courses. All I can say is I thought Leeds was right for me. I had a feeling that this was my best option. I considered choosing another option because it was maybe cheaper than LAU. But then me and my parents talked and we decided I should be studying where I think is the best fit for me. Don't get me wrong, we still considered finances, expenses, living situation, the city and everything else and we found a middle ground because after all your parents will want what's best for you but it's your job to convince them what you think is best for you. I hope this was explanatory and I'll see you in another video. Bye! Thank you.